And let's start to open it. If I can find my... Tyson, you know where my blade is? Do you have it? No? There we go. And here goes nothing. Ooh, Tyson, look at this. Ooh, la la. So it's simply an egg board in a box. It's all you get, nothing special. But the egg board itself is wrapped up in plastic, so I guess there's no, no risk of moisture or anything crazy like that. Nice solid feel to it. Oh shit. All right. Just like that, we have an egg board. For the YouTube folks, I know you guys like all the details and all that stuff. Okay. One really cool thing about this is I like the grip tape, how it goes from this and then kind of goes at the bottom of the board. And then we have some, the website here. That's, looks like it's painted on or something. All right, wheels. In size 10 and a half dress shoe, the entire board, let's go to, all the way in the back and I have maybe a good eight seven eight inches of extra space let's do it from this way feet definitely hangs off a little bit but that's expected with the tiny board I mean even with my traditional long board it's like that so Tyson let's see how it compares to a regular long board egg board Regular long board, I believe that is a Sector 9 size 38 inch long board. I don't remember what it is, but there's a pretty significant size difference. Tyson, is that your is that your new skateboard? You gonna ride it? You gonna ride? Come on, let's get up. Not feeling it. Alright. Let's hope I don't break any bones. Tyson. Tyson, get out the way. Get out the way, not in the way, gosh. First ride. Okay. All right, all right, Tyson, you saw that. You saw that, didn't you? I didn't kill myself. Oh, that thing is flexy. All right, it's me again, and I can honestly say that I am very impressed with the egg board here. It's really awesome. You should definitely have one. If you have a longboard, skateboard, anything like that, this is definitely something that you need to have in your collection. So back when I recorded the first section of this video, I only had it for you know a few minutes when you guys saw me unbox it and whatnot. Um, so probably a few, maybe not even 20 minutes to an hour in, um, I was pretty comfortable riding it. Um, one thing that you definitely do have to get used to is that um, once you put your your back foot up on the board, you have to get used to that uh, used to that feeling that the board is so short. I know the first few times that I did it, my foot kind of like nearly missed the board. But once you get over that, and once you figure out um, your riding style or whatever, um, it should be pretty comfortable and pretty easy to get. So how hard is it to ride one of these things? Honestly, not that hard. I mean, I've ridden. A skateboard a handful of times back when I was younger and we're talking about 10 15 years ago it's making me feel old as hell anyway um, and I recently picked up longboarding again maybe a few months ago not quite a year ago um, and longboarding I, I would consider way easier than skateboarding so if you know how to ride a skateboard longboard anything of that nature um, then this will be definitely super easy to pick up on. I was honestly shocked at how quickly I was able to pick up on it. Once you get over that initial habit, then it's like second nature riding this thing. So it's pretty cool. 
So let's talk about some specs. Um, I'm assuming that you may or may not have already looked into this, which is why you may have found this video. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. Here's the egg board here. Flip it around for you guys. This thing, oops, I mean to hit my stuff. All right, I'm gonna set this right here so you could always see it. I'll hold it just like that. Anyway, let's talk about some specifications. So it is a 19 inch deck. Um, it has Kingpin seven inch trucks. Um, so these are like the standard size longboard trucks. So that's probably why the ride is so stable, like surprisingly stable, even though it's like a super duper small deck, um, which makes it even cooler. Um, the wheels are 69 millimeter. Uh, I'm not sure what the brand is for these wheels, but they're more than enough. Um, I'm sure you can upgrade that later on if that's something that you must do. The bearings are ABEX 7 bearings and I honestly haven't had an issue with them or anything like that. They definitely roll. One thing I will say about this is that I didn't buy it for speed. Um, it definitely makes you feel like that you're going way faster than what you really are since the board is so little. So that's kind of a cool thing. I don't think I would want to go super fast on this thing only because it's not quite as stable as a longboard, so this is more about fun. Um, it's definitely something that I see myself bringing just about anywhere. So with that being said, I think everyone should have one in their in their collection and that this is like the coolest thing because now I'll definitely ride way more often. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the deck itself is actually made out of bamboo, um, which is pretty cool. I um, guess I could show you guys a little bit up close. Sorry about that, I actually have it upside down. And here we go, I'll try to give you a close up of the pattern, nice wood finish there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I know you want one, just go ahead and order it. Anyway, put this down for a second. So, it would not be a legitimate review if I did not have any downsides or, or cons or things that I didn't like. So, with that being said, I could honestly say that I really have no dislikes about this thing. It's pretty cool straight out the box. But, one thing that I did notice, and it's probably not the fault of the board, it may have just been the manufacturer, is that this thing is extremely squeaky. However, that could be pretty much fixed completely if you just simply grease your board or use some type of wax. I know um, I've researched it a little bit and some people even use uh, body soap because it has that particular wax in it. I don't remember the name offhand, but that will pretty much fix it. So the next time you see me in a video with this thing, I'll probably um, already have it waxed up and whatnot. And that's something that that could pretty much happen to any board. So that's not really the fault of egg boards, I would say. Secondly, which is not necessarily a downfall, but I have yet to find a, a good way to stop on this thing because it's so short. So using doing the traditional foot brake where you take one foot off the deck and you just drag your foot may be a little bit challenging on this thing. So I haven't quite figured it out yet. I know I've been experimenting with just like tapping my back foot on one of the wheels, but I haven't mastered it yet. But that might be um, the best way to stop at the moment. Or pretty much if I just catch too much speed, I'll just bail off of it. Um, which has been pretty okay so far. Like I said earlier, um, this is not something that I, I really want to go too fast on anyway. So it's just it's just pretty fun to monkey around with. Um, and it's probably something that you know will make a, a short commute really fun. All right, so final thoughts. Um, pretty much why I wanted to buy a small penny board slash long board type of thing is because um, I was actually at the beach a few months ago uh, down in Florida and I realized that bringing a long board will probably be way too much trouble uh, for me to take on an airplane so I was like there got to be some like cool mini options and of course once you start looking into this stuff the first thing that pops up are penny boards and nickel boards well the thing about those are is that I've read that those things are pretty complicated to learn how to ride and I can honestly uh, say that for me, it probably is true. Uh, the last time I was in a Zoomies, I don't remember which one it was. I'm, I'm going to assume it was a penny board, but I tried to ride a penny board in Zoomies and almost like busted my butt. So I was like, you know what? I'm not really into that. Randomly came across egg boards. Um, I think I actually came across it on Craigslist because 
uh, the owner, Paolo. I hope I said that right. You're super cool, man. Um, I found it on the DC Craigslist, uh, basically pretty much an ad for it. And I was like, wow, that thing looks cool. And the description says that they're way more stable than penny boards. And I definitely find that to be true. So if you've ever tried a penny board, this thing will probably be a breeze. I mean, like, like I said earlier, I've only have a uh, recent experience with riding a longboard and I was able to, you know, learn this within like 30 minutes. So it's pretty cool. Oh, and don't let me forget. Um, I actually have a discount code. I reached out to Paolo, the, uh, the egg boards creator. He's a really cool guy. Um, you know, he answers all of his emails, happy to answer any questions that you may have. So with that being said, if you are on the fence about buying it, this might tempt you a little bit. You can type in uh, at checkout, you can use this code right here. And if it's not here, you can go in the description right below. And that should get uh, be good for you to get free shipping. And of course, how could I end this video review without me showing you guys some footage of me riding it? Um, so shortly right after this clip, uh, you'll see me riding this thing around my apartment complex. Now we'll give you guys a heads up. I'm still learning the ins and out of this egg board here. So I'm not riding extremely fast or doing any, you know, cool stunts or anything like that so please don't get too bored 